When you're given three points that lie in a parabola, we are going to rely on what you previously learned in unit one, which is the RREF method. Row reduced echelon form method. So what do we do here? Notice that each one of these has an X and a Y coordinate. X and a Y coordinate, okay? So I'm going to start off with my answers here. And I'm going to write it with A X squared plus B X plus C equals an answer. A X squared plus B X plus C equals an answer. Okay, so X is 1. 1, 1, an answer of negative 2. There's your Y. X is 2. 2, 2, an answer of negative 4. X is 3, 3, 3, an answer of negative 4 once again. What does this turn into? It turns in, into 1A plus 1B plus C equals negative 2. The next equation is going to be 4A plus 2B plus C equals negative 4. And my final is 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 4. Think of this really quick as a matrix. Three rows and four columns. Grab your calculator and do second plus second, 712. And we're going to go second matrix and we're going to edit matrix A. It's going to be a 3 by 4 because there's three equations and four columns. 3 enter, 4 enter, and now I'm going to type in 1, 1 has a coefficient of 1, so it's 1, 1, 1, negative 2. Then it is 4, 2, 1, negative 4, and 9, 3, 1, negative 4. Okay, let's quit out of this by hitting second quit. And now let's go back into matrix and go to math, and we want to scroll down until we find R, R, E, F. Press enter one time. Now let's go back to the matrix we programmed, which happens to be matrix A. Press enter once. So we're going to do the R, R, E, F of this program matrix. I'm going to press enter. Okay, what does this tell me? It tells me A is 1, B is negative 5, and C is 2. So who can tell me what is the equation for this? Anybody? Y equals 1x squared minus 5x plus 2. Is it required that I put a 1 in front of the x squared? No. Nope. Any other number where a is equal to something other than 1, we'd have to write it down.